Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, back again with another episode of Hidden Secrets, Glitches, Easter Eggs that you, the subscribers, have sent in. This is a series where you send me interesting things you have found in the game, and the ones which are the most unique and haven't yet been showcased on my channel will possibly get a chance of being featured in a future episode. To send me the things you have found, make sure to either write them down in the comment section down below or direct messaging them to me through Instagram, Twitter or Xbox, either by describing them or recording it in video form. Please just make sure that it is in the best quality possible so it can be used in an episode. All of the links will be down in the description below and hopefully I'll see some of you guys in the next video. So let's take a look at five secrets, Easter eggs, glitches that you have found in Forza Horizon 4. Starting off with number one, the Corvette C8 Cluster. So for today's episode, we will feature a few things we noticed with the newly released Corvette C8, beginning with the cluster. Now, as we can see in an actual photo taken of the C8 cluster, this is how it looks like. Not much to detail and certainly not something the Forza engine can't handle. Well, in Horizon 4, while from what I can see, the smart cluster does look relatively accurate, what are these rectangle white shapes invading the edges? At first, I thought it was just a reflection of the paddles from the back of the steering wheel, as certain cars in this game have a super reflective cluster and dash. But that wasn't the case, and the biggest giveaway is if you head over to Forza Vista mode and have a look at the digital cluster there while the car is turned off, there's no white rectangle shapes. But only until you turn on the vehicle will you see them. Certainly interesting to say the least, and not something that is seen in either Project Cars 3 or The Crew 2, but a huge shout out to many of you on both Xbox and Instagram for mentioning this to me. Uh, my messages were bombarded with this particular bug. Thank you. Number two, where's the sound? Once again, we are back with the Corvette C8, and this time we are going to solely be in Forza Vista mode. Now, as most of you know, Forza Vista mode is a place to completely explore the car you own and really examine the intricate details that Horizon 4 have put into their cars, despite many bugs and glitches we catch. However, other details such as shadows, light reflections, to even door sounds in which we may overlook are also there too, and should one of those elements be removed, the car and entire Forza Vista mode would actually seem weird. And well, that is what has happened here. As we can see, when you explode a car and then implode it, a closing door thud should be present like most vehicles, but unfortunately for the C8, there's no sound. It makes it feel like the car doors are made out of cardboard with no weight behind it. The only other car we have found that also has the missing door sound is the Honda Civic Type R EK9. Anyways, a huge shout out to Flamer Taser 2 from Xbox for finding this out for all of us. Thank you. Number three, you've been getting the wrong update too. Now, one strange thing that some of you subscribers have sent me is that for the first week of Update 31, where the festival playlist should show the event to unlock the Corvette C8, some of you have been getting the wrong festival playlist. This seems to predominantly be a PC issue, and the fix is pretty simple. Just head over to the Microsoft Store and update your game. Sometimes the game doesn't update itself, which is a little strange. In fact, I also had a similar issue too, where I put my Xbox to sleep while Horizon 4 was technically still running in the background and when I turned it back on and resumed the new season hit but the C8 was nowhere to be seen showing me a completely different festival playlist. I started freaking out as I thought there goes my chances of getting the new Corvette C8 but all I had to do was quit the game and update Horizon 4 and then when I loaded back in the Corvette C8 was right there. So for those who are still stuck on some other festival playlist, make sure your game is up to date. Number four, Playground Games loves memes, apparently. Here is something perhaps some of you may not have picked up, especially if you don't drive in cockpit view, and that is if you look over to the center console of the Corvette C8 and have a read through the touch display, at the top it reads classic vinyl, the highway, tyrant of 
D, which I don't know if that means anything, but maybe a band? But the one on the end, I'm sure you can all see this by now, says Stonks. Now, if you are familiar with the Stonks meme, then you may be able to appreciate this. But for those who don't understand, Stonks in the meme world is when someone believes they are making a smart financial decision to make a profit, but fails. Now, there is a little meaning behind it, I guess, as Forza Horizon 4 does have the auction house, and usually new cars like this are worth heaps about a full update later. So what people would do is obtain the car, keep it for a month in hopes to earn some credits for the following update should they get rid of it. Pretty cool to see Playground Games add small little Easter eggs or memes like this. Um, I really hope they do continue this in the future for us to find. And lastly, number five, Hot Wheels Expansion 3 Rumors. Alright, here is what I'm guessing you are all here for. Now, literally this morning, I was on Facebook and I came across this article that was shared on the Forza Horizon 4 group. The website was from Seasoned Gaming and it's a very short article about how the Hot Wheels expansion is in development for Forza Horizon 4. They've heard multiple reliable resources that this was happening and will likely to be announced soon with no target release date shared as of yet. Yet. Now, when I first saw this, I was very skeptical to say the least, almost shrugging this article off as there is no other sources suggesting that this is happening and could just be some fake news to gain some clicks. However, later today on Twitter, I found this tweet here by Special Ed tweeting, by the way, Randall Thor 19 is right. Hot Wheels DLC is coming to Forza Horizon 4. Was told I could say something a month ago and completely forgot. Now, this certainly strengthened the initial article that was shown earlier by a significant amount as Special Ed runs a podcast called Xbox Error, but it's Randall Thor 19 that is more of a credible figure as he is a YouTube content creator focusing on Xbox news and rumors and also has a huge following on Twitter and most notably is followed by Xbox and Playground Games themselves. Also, I believe he is one of the few or only gamer to hit over a million gamer score. Surely he has to have some sort of perks for achieving that. Now, what do I think? We just had Super 7. Could that have been a beta test for Hot Wheels since, you know, every Forza Horizon title does run differently despite how similar they look? Possibly, and with Horizon 5 and even the next Forza Motorsport not having an official release date, I feel as though as the only racing exclusive franchise on the Xbox, Playground Games need to continue pushing out content just for the Forza name to stay relevant. I'm sure the developers are aware that new cars every month will not keep the game alive, and with the Hot Wheels license already obtained, as many of the Hot Wheel cars are already in Horizon 4, and it was such a big hit in Horizon 3, there's really no reason for them not to do this. I mean, if this is true, then my hat's off to Playground Games for keeping this game alive, and how will it be done? Well, if it's a free update, that would be awesome. Then that way we can all enjoy it and hopefully get rewards from it as an entire community. Whereas with paid content, it kind of separates the community apart. And when you have a look at the Lego of Fortune Island expansion packs, when they were released, barely any updates were ever made to those expansions. And you know, you, you can't really gain any rewards from them anymore. This is certainly some very exciting news to hear. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. I would love to hear your opinions. So there we have it guys, five hidden secrets, Easter eggs and glitches for Forza Horizon 4. If you guys did find this video helpful or interesting, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as that would really help me out. And lastly, if you guys would like to see more Forza Horizon 4 content right here on this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.